Hey, hey, hey everyone, Razbowski here, and welcome back to our Pokemon X Wonderlock! In the previous episode, we made our way to Santaloon City, where we are ready to take on that oh-so-sexy Viola for the sweet highest first gym badge of the adventure, yo! Yes, we are ready to take on the first gym leader of our Wonderlock adventure, and I couldn't be happier. I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but I am fucking pumped to be taken on this gym leader. But before we go ahead and do that, let's quickly go over the wonder trades we got in the previous episode, because we got some quite cool shit. So let's quickly check out the party and see where we are rolling with the team. So, our very first person we got in the team, very first person, I mean our very first Pokemon, was this Korean Caterpie, who, as you can see before your beautiful eyes, everyone, he has now evolved into a Butterfree, and the Butterfree is absolutely tanking it. Look at that speed, 24, which is real nice, and as is the special attack. The moveset is okay. It's a cat. It's a Butterfree at level 11. It can't be much better for us starting off the game, so I'm really pleased with the Butterfree. Um, I wasn't so sure about the Caterpie at first, but hey, I love Butterfree, and, and that wing movement is just fucking hypnotic. It's sexy. It's sexy, guys, and I'm fucking loving it. So let's move on. The next guy, we have got ourselves a Korean Onyx, and the Onyx is just swaying from side to side like it don't give a fuck. It is a level uh, 15. It's level 15. Its moveset is okay. So they, the Butterfree and the Onyx are definitely, definitely staying in the party because I'm really enjoying the, the male-female ratio we got there. Plus the Korean. It's the Korean force we've got here. The Korean task force that's going to be taking on the Pokemon world in Kalos region. So we also got ourselves a German Volbeat in the previous episode and we also got ourselves an Italian Electrode. Uh, I think it's called Kaboom. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, he's called Kaboom level 37 though. Unfortunately, the Kaboom, um, I asked you in the previous episode if we should keep Kaboom in the party as like a backup. I don't know, but I've decided not to because I've been thinking about it the last couple of days and I think mm, having that guy in the party is kind of like cheating. I don't really want to do that. I want to do this, this Wonderlock properly. And yes, it is in the rules that I could use this Pokemon, but um, at the moment, I don't want to use it. So Kaboom, unfortunately, brother, you're going to go in the box real quick along with um, our German Volbeat and um, so let's do that let's go into someone's PC organized boxes and we're just gonna pop uh, Volbeat the German Volbeat who's happily dancing from side to side and we're gonna put the Italian Kaboom electrode in in the box as well perfect name for an electrode by the way Kaboom absolutely perfect what I did off, off uh, screen as well as we exit the Pokemon Center to only go back in because I should talk to everybody inside. Um, I went up to the Pokemon Pokemart at the back um, just to pick up some uh, pick up some potions, picked up some potions, and I picked up a couple more Pokeballs because we don't want to be in the wild and caught short. With no balls, you know what I'm saying? We need balls. We need balls to catch them on to Wonder Trade and then get my fucking fix for the day. So, hey, girl, how's it going? I love the hair. I love the boots. I love the side ponytail and the way your ass moves. So how about it? How about a date? What do you say, girl? There's a fitting room in the back there. You can change in a flash. Perhaps I could even give you some... Tips. Oh, girl, you are fucking naughty. You are naughty. Okay, there's some twins here, I think. Did you see any Pikachu in the Santa Loon forest? I really want to become friends with a Pikachu. I wouldn't, uh, because Pikachu's, uh, if I've learned anything from the anime, Pikachu's never evolve, and they just get beaten. They get their ass handed to them every time they go to a new region. Pokemon are easier to catch if you put them to sleep or paralyze them first. Excellent, thank you very much for that tip, Mr. Hikerman. Okay, so, since we're in a Pokemon world and uh, there is nothing better to do than literally go around and raid people's houses, we are just going to barge into some houses, raid some people's uh, flats, and uh, talk to as many people as possible, becoming a menace to society. So, hey, buddy, let's, let's talk. Uh, absolutely nothing interesting from that, guys, so we'll just pop in this house here. Oh, I love all the animations in this game. I know it's been out for a while now, but the animation still gets me every time. It's just so fucking good. Speak to this guy. Uh, excuse me. The gym leader in this city is the fantastic photographer Viola. I'll have to go and find some bug Pokemon if I want to have any pictures displayed in the gym. Oh, shit, guys. We've got a bug Pokemon. We've got uh, our Butterfree. A Butterfree is a bug flying Pokemon, so we can take it along to her and hopefully get our picture taken in the gym with that sexy ass bitch. There are so many great gym badges to be earned here in the Kalos region. Do you want to hear about them? Hell no, bitch. Well, you're the boss. You, you, you're damn right. You're damn right I'm the boss. I'll uh, come and see you again. Don't you worry. Okay, she had a nice bed there. All oh, those two are getting on. 
They're getting their freak on in that house. They're getting their freak on. That's what I like to see. So, what have we got in here? We've got two girls. Uh, no bed, so we know they're not sleeping together. Maybe they're sisters. When a Pokemon is evolving and you don't want it to, press the B button. It surprises the Pokemon and makes it stop evolving. So, when you press the B button and you're like, I don't know, are you just prodding its bum or something? You're slapping it across the face saying, no, you will not evolve, bitch. The evolution cancelization. If you love your Pokemon, even it changes its appearance, you'll stay connected with it. Let's see, you and your Butterfree are very connected to each other. That's what it looks like to me. You're damn right, me and my Butterfree have a very special connection. It was the very first Pokemon we wonder traded, and everybody watching this right now can can feel the love between me and Butterfree. Um... While we're just raiding houses and speaking to uh, random shit, I don't really care what that kid's saying. I'm going to talk to you about the 1,000 subscriber special, which is going to be the Wi-Fi battles on... No, I'm not going to trade. Um, the 1,000 subscriber Wi-Fi battles... That's going to be on the channel. What I'm going to do is a live stream like all of you wanted. You wanted a live stream, so I've been working out how to do a live stream. Um, I found a day that I can come and do it. And that day is going to be this Saturday. So this is getting... Well, this is being recorded during the week. It's going to go up on Friday. So tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow, which is Saturday, the... I'm going to say 11th? 11th? It's whatever. 10th or 11th? I think it's the 11th. 11th. Saturday, the 11th of uh, January is going to be Razbowski's 1,000 subscriber special live stream. So, I want you to think of questions. Think of anything you want to ask me. Oh, thank you very much for the great ball, kid. I want to think, want uh, you to think of questions you want to ask me. We're going to do some Wi-Fi battles. I'll be picking people at random in the stream to have a fight with. And we can do some Wi-Fi battle and we can do some chatting. We could even, I could do, even do a wee bit of the Wonderlock stream uh, if you want, I could uh, go on and do some random breeding, try and hatch a shiny for you guys, do some chain fishing, any of that good shit. But I really, I just, I'm just really looking forward to doing the the live stream element of it all, and um, because uh, you guys really deserve it, and that's what you are really looking forward to. So I'm happily going to oblige because you guys are awesome, and I would be nowhere. Um, today on this channel if it weren't for all of you guys and you're just fucking awesome and let's uh, I think we're just going to get shouted at for being in here uh, can I go there? No, no, not going to let me in there I was going to hopefully go in there and get a capture um, for the start of the episode but we're not allowed to do that so we'll quickly check out this place first before going to fight the gym so the, um, I need to work out the best time for the live stream um, so in the comments below I think uh Question of the day is going to be what time would uh, best suit people? I'm thinking it's going to be late UK time, maybe 11 p.m. I know it's a bit late for some people in the UK, um, but 11 p.m. is going to be a decent time for people in America. And uh, I'm working during the day anyway, so the earliest I'm going to get back is uh, 10 o'clock. So I could start at just the back of 10, maybe half 10-ish if that's better for people. So let me know what you think. But I'm thinking about 11 p.m. UK time. So is it... American Eastern time is five hours behind, so I'm going to say that will be on at 6 p.m. If my math is correct, I think it's correct. So it's 6 p.m. Eastern time, and then the rest of your time zones just uh, really fuck me up. All I know is Eastern because I've been to Florida. So <laughs> there you go, let's do that. So I'm thinking Eastern time, roughly about 6 p.m. Uh, in America. Uh, for the live stream, we're going to do Wi-Fi battles. Think of loads of questions to ask me because I'll be answering them in the, the stream and uh, all that good shit, because it's uh, it'll be good for you guys to know me a bit better, it'll be good for me to know you guys a bit better, and uh, I just want to say a massive thank you for the 1k, but let's get back into this, because we've got a, a gym battle to have, ladies and gentlemen, and this sexy girl is blocking our way, so what a bitch, why are you in our way? Love the tits. Hey stranger, isn't cruising around town on your roller skates the best thing ever? Um, I actually know, because I don't have roller skates. Wait. Do you mean to tell me that you don't even own a pair of roller skates? Fuck, man. Hey, hey, steady on with the language, girl. This is a family-friendly channel. Then how about this? If you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. I can never say no to a contest. Mm-mm, not me. So how about it? Do you want a battle? Huh? huh? You want a battle? Steady on, girl. How about you give me a date instead of a pair of roller skates? How does that fit you? 
Uh, yeah, let's go for a battle. Let's fucking do this, girl. I will never accept a battle. Whether it's Pokemon or roller skates, speed is important. So you're one of these speed noobs. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a thing, girl. I'll use my Trick Room team on you, and you'll be fucked up, Rinka. You will be fucked up. Send out your Zigzagoon. Send it fucking out, and we will take that bitch on. So, Zigzagoon, Pokemon's little robber, because of its face mask, and we're going to send out Butterfree, so... Excuse me, fuck me. Butterfree, use Confusion, motherfucker, and send that Zigzagoon to hell, yo. Send it to hell. So we take this guy, oh, not quite one hit KO, but the Zigzagoon is wasting time with a Tail Whip. You can lower my defense all you damn want, Zigzagoon, because we're going to go straight for the Confusion. And that confusion is gonna send you to hell! You can go and see Arceus in the sky. Actually, you won't be seeing Arceus. You will be seeing the hell Pokemon. Uh, Helibird. The mega evolution of Delibird. You wrapped up the battle before I could reach my top speed. You ain't no Usain Bolt, girl. You ain't no Usain Bolt! So, there we go. Wow! That was amazing! You might be stronger than the gym leader. All right. Here you go, one spiffy pair of roller skates, just as I promised. Uh, what about the date, girl? You know, I was going to take you out, I was going to buy you a nice steak dinner, then we're going to go behind the bushes, know what I'm saying? Listen up, I'll read you in the instructions of your new pair of roller skates, okay? No, I, I, I don't care, I, I, honestly, I don't care, I, I know how to, oh, she fucked off, oh no, she's only gone there. She's only gone there, that's fine. Hey girl, how's it going, girl, girl, girl? Okay, can we get through here? Oh shit, we can get through here. Okay, we're not going to challenge the gym just yet. Um, we're going to go probably fight this person here. So we'll fight this girl. I learned all my Pokemon battling techniques from Viola, the gym leader. Uh, I have no idea why she sounded like a robot. It just seemed like a good voice for this uh, rising star Louise. She does seem like a bit like a robot. But we've got a Psyduck in first. Okay, so Psyduck. Sigh is uh well I loved that guy when I was watching the cartoons when I was younger. Just it just the scrapes that Psyduck got into. It kept popping out the Pokeball. It was hilarious when you were a kid. And it's gonna shake his little tail at me. Look at that tail go. Oh actually talking about this game, um one of the first Pokemon I actually got in a wonder trade was a Golduck. And it had, like, a shit ton of uh, HMs on it. I was like, oh, fine. I'll use that guy as my HM slave for the rest of the game. That'll do me nicely. So, uh, thank you, whoever sent that. I, you probably will never listen to this or realize that you sent me that Pokemon. But, hey, no fucks are given here. No fucks are given. Okay, so we're going to try and learn Poison Powder. That's pretty nice. So, let's get rid of Tackle because it's not a physical attacker. So, we'll get rid of Tackle. Hopefully, that isn't a bad move. We'll put on... Uh, poison powder, and that will be nice. I love Butterfree Sprite. Oh, we've got Stun Spore coming in next. Oh, yeah, bitch. Let's take away Harden. We don't need Harden just now. Um, and is it going to learn Sleep Powder as well? It might do. I'm, I've seen other Pokemon do that before. Yes, it fucking is. Yes, it fucking is. It's okay. So, I like Sleep Powder. It's got 75% accuracy, but because of Butterfree's ability, it boosts it. Now... We have String Shot here, which could be useful. No, fuck it. We'll just put all the powders on this bitch. We're going to put all the powders on this bitch. And we're going to be like, hey, what up? I'm just going to spore the fuck out of here. Know what I'm saying. Okay, so we've got some good things. So if we outspeed stuff, we're actually going to be nice. So let's let's test out this shit on this Lit Leo. Um, hopefully the Lit Leo doesn't have any kind of uh, fire moves yet. It might do, and that might burn the fuck out of us. But we can switch into Onyx if we need to. But we're going to try the Sleep Powder real quick and put this fucker to sleep and see what we get. Okay, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, Lit, Lit Leo. Good night, motherfucker. Okay, let's go. We are sorted here. It can sleep and we can just confusion it. That's why I love Butterfree. It can just fucking stun spore. It can paralyze. It can fucking sleep to sleep. I can't say that word. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hold on. Hold Oh, that was nothing. That was nothing. That was a critical hit as well, yo. Um, I'm going to have to bleep that word back there. I can't swear that badly. I can say fuck. I can say shit. I can say bastard. But I can't use the C word. That is not... I, I, I just... I, uh, well, I, I use the word in real life, but I don't think I should use it on, on the internet. What, what, do you think I should use that word? Um, don't Honestly, uh, you don't have to use that as a question of the day. That's... Uh, that's neither here nor there. I'm going to bleep it anyway. Okay, so it's night time. Let's go around here because we've got... Oh, we can't cut that though. But we'll come in here. We'll uh, try and catch ourselves a Pokemon real nice and see what we get. So hopefully we can get one to trade this guy straight away. It's a burner. Uh, 
Bunnelby, not a bunnery, a bunnelby, so this bunnelby, let's put it to sleep, because that'll help us, so let's put this guy to sleep, because the guy, the hiker, in the Pokemon Center said put to sleep, I've said it again! I've said that word again, holy shit, I can't use a C word. Damn, let's put this Bunnelby to sleep, and then let's quickly fire on uh, the Pokeball. Okay, so we're going to use the Pokeball real quick. Hopefully grab it. What's up with my language tonight? Usually I'm bad. I'm, well, I say bad. I'm usually pretty terrible for my swearing. But, oh man, two, two in one episode. That, that is, uh, that is definitely a record for me. That is definitely a record for me. Okay, so we got Bunnelby. So everybody, you know what this means. This Bunnelby is going to be sent straight over the Wonder Trade system. And we're going to get somebody nice in return. Give a nickname to Bunnelby. Yes, we are going to be calling it. Uh, let's just call it. Uh, let's just go, uh, let's call it Giga, Gigasby. It's going to call it Gigasby. So if anybody gets, uh, gets it, and it's going to be like, fuck yeah, this is a fucking Gigasby. Fucking mega Gigasby. Okay, so let's, let's stop pissing about. Let's get straight on the Wonder Trade system and trade it up real quickly because we want something nice. If we get something nice, then we can use it in the gym or we can switch train in the gym, which is going to be good as well. So we go here uh, is a sleep. So that would be nice for somebody to get. That would be really nice. So Gigasby, uh, goodbye, motherfucker. We do not need you. So as soon as we've traded this uh, uh, Gigasby, uh, once we've traded the Bunnelby over the Wonder Trade system, we're gonna hit up the gym real quick, fight the trainers, get to Viola, and show her who's the fucking boss. Now, she is one fine-ass female, so, uh, I don't know, I don't really want to beat her, but fuck it, here we go! Combat SVP, Sasha, France, uh, in the centre, is that the centre of France, or is it pronounced Centre? I am from France, and nice to meet you, Sasha. Take my Giggers B and give me something in return, something nice. A Stunfisk, eh? Okay, okay, I'll take that, I'll take that. That's a, that's a, a lightning uh, Pokemon, so that's another element that we do not have yet. Okay, so this looks like a Japanese one. So does that mean we've got two Koreans and a Japanese Pokemon in the team, which could be nice. So let's hopefully... Hopefully somebody's been breeding now and we get some good natures and all that good shit. But we're going to have a look real nice. Level 31. <laughs> it's fucking so damn high. Here I am expecting loads of level 1s as well. Holy shit. Is that a good nature? Is that a good nature? It's limber. It's got good moves. It is special. Um... Is that I'm, I'm kind of thinking that is probably a best nature for the Stunfisk is lowered speed, maybe plus special attack. I'm not 100% sure, but that could be pretty damn good, yo. That could be pretty damn good. Okay, okay, I'm satisfied. I'm pleased with that. I'm pleased. I've gone from satisfied to pleased in a matter of seconds. But who gives a fuck? Let's pop. Let's pop these skates on real quick. Let's get our skates on. Do a fucking spin. And then let's get into the gym. Let's make it. We're in the first gym, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take this fucker on. Santaloon City Gym. And there is our pal, Clyde the Guide. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I got any tips for a brother? What's your so little crustle? Welcome to the Santaloon City Gym. So, future champ, this will be your first time challenging the gym, huh? Yes, it is my first time, motherfucker. But not in... In this game, yeah, in the Kalos region, but overall, I'm a Nuzlocke master, yo. Are you thrilled? Are you pumped? You should be, no worries here. You've got Pokemon on your side, and really, they're the ones that are gonna get be doing all the battling. Am I right or am I right, right? You're right, mate, you're fucking right. Jump on that pole there, and you'll be way down to the gym leaders waiting for you. Whoops! But wait, before you go, I'm supposed to tell you something. Come in close, little man, come in fucking close. Everyone in this gym... Uses bug type Pokemon. Got it? Yeah, mate, I have got it. So what we really want to be using is a fire type Pokemon. But unfortunately, we do not have a fighting type Pokemon. So we're just going to move through with Onyx. And um, everybody's best friend, uh, Butterfree. So let's run along here. Challenge this guy real quick. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Hey, are you a challenger? Come on, show me your Pokemon. I will definitely show you my Pokemon, mate. I will show you my Pokemon and nothing else because you don't deserve it, Youngster David. You do not deserve it. So Lady Bat is coming out first. Now, what level is this Lady Bat? Because I know we are level 12 with uh, Butterfree. Level 10. Okay, so we're only just higher. So what's the best way to do this? Confusion? Uh, I said that really 
questioningly, what I really meant to say was we're going to fucking confuse you now. Oh, shit. It avoided the attack. We are going to be weak as fuck for this gym. Now, are bug types affected by sleep powder and that? Let's try it. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Yes, it is going to go to sleep. Honestly, guys, we're just going to sleep hacks our way through here. Let's fucking do it. Let's sleep hacks our way through this gym, yo. Let's do this real nice. Okay, Lady Bat is asleep. And we're going to try and confusion the fuck out of it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One thing I really miss about the, the egg lock and everything else is that it woke up so quickly. Fuck you. Um, but it's alright, we missed the super, uh, supersonic mist. Um, I missed the speed up button, honestly. I so missed the speed up button for battles like this when you're just like fucking put it to sleep, confusion it, take it out. I really miss that. So it's, it's going to be another thing. You're going to learn more about me because I'll probably end up swearing more. And um, you're going to learn more about my day because I'm probably going to tell you that to fill the gaps in um, that I had before. So I suppose it's going to be it's going to be a good thing. It's going to be a good thing. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's move along here. We want to follow this route here come down and challenge this youngster over here see what he says real quick hey buddy do you have any idea how quickly bug type pokemon evolve actually mister i have got first-hand experience of bug type pokemon zachary because i've got a butterfree about to come and kick your ass so here we are we should be fine against this guy we probably don't even need to put it to sleep the spupa um, which is eventually going to evolve into a Vivillon. But we're going to be sleep powered in it anyway because I'm that kind of guy. We don't want to be messing around here, no. No, we do not. So we're going to put it to sleep real quick. And then hopefully move on real quickly. Um, the spew part. Uh, shed skin. Fucking, fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Obviously it's got shed skin. I should know that because all of them do. Kakuna, Metapod, they all have shed skin. I really should have known that. Tackle me all you want. It's going to take a fuck all, Spupa. And we are going to take you out now with one confusion. Straight to the face. Yes, straight to the face. So, we are in the very first gym of our Wonderlock adventure. We are not too overleveled, which is kind of a bad thing, in my opinion, because... As you know, I can't cure in battle, um, but we do we do have the stun fisk in this team as a backup policy. I really don't want to use him though. I really want to try and get away without using it because um, it's just going to make this first gym challenge far too easy. But we'll take this girl on and see what happens. Hee hee hee! Such weak prey. You've been caught right in my spider web. Oh, girl, I'll be caught in your spider web any day of the week. Look how short that skirt is. That skirt is last Charlotte. So, Kakuna is coming out first. Uh, no point, again, trying to either poison it, because poison won't affect it. Um, and uh, let's just go for the confusion. Hopefully, take it out in one hit, because it's poison. It's going to be weak to psychic. So, we should be able to take it out. No problems at all. There you go. Goodbye, Kakuna. Ah, hopefully, we'll get a level up here, yo. Let's get a level up. Come on, get a level up. Oh, so damn close. But we've got a combi in next. We do not want to switch Pokemon, because we're going to try and get Butterfree up as high as possible level-wise. Because I want to use Butterfree for this first challenge. Gym. I want to see Butterfree can take out at least the first guy on uh, on his own and then move on if we need to use I if we need to use Onyx that's fine but we need to get past the I think her first Pokemon is Surskit if I remember correctly around about level 10 maybe a level 11 if that's the case that is fine because then um, if Butterfree takes out the Surskit then that means we can bring in Onyx for the second guy, which is the Vivalon, if I remember correctly. And then we will be all good in the hood. Not what I'm saying, guys. Not what I'm saying. Ah, no fair. My web wasn't strong enough to keep you. Well, girl, if you got out those... Uh... Let's uh, stop the sentence there. Okay, we're about to take on the gym leader, which is pretty damn good. So we'll go and we'll get a potion. We'll use that real quick and get up full health. And then we will move on real nice. Okay, okay, girl. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready to take on the very first gym leader of the challenge, the sexy, sexy Viola. And we are hopefully get this badge. If... If for some reason we lose, I will cry, I will shut down my life, because we should not be losing this, we should not be losing this, and hopefully we won't have to use uh, Stunfisk, because well, it's level 30 fucking, was it 1, 37, 31 I think it was, um, so pff, fucking, we don't want to be doing that, anyway, here we go, good luck guys, fingers crossed, we're going to take this on and we're going to fucking destroy it, I know we are.
where I know we are. Okay, hey girl, how's it going? I'm Razbowski, and I'm here to challenge you for the very first badge of the adventure. I love the way you look. You can take photos of me, nude, if you want. Um... <laughs> Only if you want to, but I would love to take nude photos of you. I'm somewhat of a photographer myself. Check out girlsvspokemon.com and you could be on there, girl. You could be the front page. That determined expression, that glint in your eye that says you're up to a challenge. Mwah! It's fantastic. Just fantastic. Is this your first time challenging a gym? Yeah, yeah, it is, um, Viola. It really is so... Please go easy on me. Fantastic! Whether it's the tears of frustration that follow a loss, or the blossoming of joy that comes with victory, they're both great subjects for my camera. Fantastic! This will be just fantastic! Now come at me, bro! My lens is always focused on victory! I won't let anything ruin this shot! Oh, say cheese, girl! Say damn cheese! Okay, so here we go! We are fighting Viola, the very first gym leader in our Wonderlock Challenge for the badge! That we will save her oh so damn sweetly! So Surskit is coming in like I said! So, Surskit is bug water! So if we had some lightning moves here, that would be fucking perfect. But we don't. That music is amazing. I love the gym leader music. Oh, shit. I'm so fucking excited. Confusion. The fuck. I with that sir skip, but it's going for a quick attack. Fuck you, you bitch. It only took a 4 HP. I will take that for just now. How are we doing with the sir skip? We took off half its HP, yo. Let's take it out. Let's just fucking take it out. Come on. Let's do this. Take it out. 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 Oh, come on, you fucking beauty. Butterfree. You fucking beauty. Oh, yeah. Mm. Taste that victory. I can taste it in my mouth already. Okay, Vivalon is coming in next. Do you know what we're going to do? We're just going to leave. We're going to leave in the butterfly and we're going to see how it goes. Vivalon with its beautiful, beautiful um, markings. I love... I love how they've done that. I love how they've got the, the different Vivalons for different regions. It really just makes it unique. It encourages trading around the world, which is pretty damn sweet. Okay, so Vivalon is outspeeding us here. Let's see if we can... Will it be poisoned? Or is it better to stun spore it? Let's stun... Uh, oh, I pressed poison powder by accident. Whoops. But, <laughs> but it hit anyway. So the poison powder is going to help. And if we do bring in Onyx, that's going to make things better for us. We'll do that. Yo, it's hardening. Actually, that's fine. Actually, that's fine. Go and harden all you want because we're especially attacking you with Butterfree and you're poisoned and that poison is going to be helping us all day long. So, let's move on. Let's get the confusion on straight away again. Let's do this. It's using infestation. Okay, okay. What's happening? Oh, that's fine. That should be fine. It's not very effective. I will take that. It's... Oh, it's got infestation though. It got, I've not really seen that move used much so I can't really comment too much on it. But the poison is taking its effect and we should be able to take it out this time. Hopefully, if we... Okay, shit. Okay, that's what it's going to do. That's what it's going to do. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I think we should be able to take it out. One more confusion. Outspeed it. <gasps> the fucking bitch. The fucking bitch just used the potion. Damn, they're so much smarter in this game. They really, really are. Come on, let's get a crit. Let's get a crit. Let's get a crit. Oh, I didn't get a crit. It didn't get the crit, but it got a poison. So hopefully one more and then the poison should kill it is what I'm thinking. Infestation, okay, it's got 18, it shouldn't kill me with 18, and we should be able to take off enough of the confusion for the poison to take effect and finish it off, is what I'm thinking, so Vivalon, yes, 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 you held on, you held on, Butterfree, come on, finish it off, finish it off, man, finish it off, take out this bitch, oh, is it gonna do it, is it gonna do it, is the poison gonna finish it off, it's gonna finish it off, guys, kapow, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah, that first badge is ours, oh yeah, oh yeah, that first badge is ours, oh yeah, oh yeah, level 15, yo, that is exactly what we wanted, we're gonna boost our HP by 3, special attack by 2, the rest by 1, and we are looking nice, oh shit, yeah, Viola, take that right in the fucking face, she looks really happy, she looks really happy, defeated, and you know rules is rules, girl, I get to take photos of you for now, for our, our website, girlsvspokemon.com. You and your Pokemon have shown me the whole new depth of field. Fantastic, just fantastic. And I got a shit ton of money too, yo. A shit ton of money. Young trainer, you are sexy, are handsome, have a massive cock. No, it wasn't you alone. Oh, well, that's disappointing. You and your Butterfree have shown me a whole new depth of field. Fantastic, just fantastic. I'm gonna shit myself with how fantastic this shit is. 
Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. There's the very first badge of our adventure, and we are looking damn nice. There we go, the bug badge. With that bug badge, Pokemon up to level 30 will listen to your orders in battle. Still not the, the stun fisk and the electrode, though, but hey, yep, even if you get them in trades. And here, this TM commemorates your win against a pro pho photog like me. Oh, infestation. Okay, okay, that could be a good move uh, for our Butterfree. But we've already got moves that are similar to that, so that's fine. Using a TM like that one later. There lets you teach your Pokemon some new moves quicker than a shutter set to 1 1,000th can snap shut. Oh, all these fucking puns, man. The TMs are some of the best gear around. They are point and click easy, and you can use them over and over again. Kind of like my body. Now, that TM that I just gave you is for a move called Infestation. Use it, and it'll be impossible for your opponent to flee from battle. Now then, can you zoom in a bit to check out the tent behind me? And my ass is round and pert and like a peach. Now, take the stairs that you find beyond it, and you'll be back to the entrance faster than and a flash. Girl, I'm gonna flash you. I'm gonna flash you so hard. Mm -hmm. Give you a little kiss there. Uh, pack your things, babe, because we're going to my pad of love to do a bit of filming, you know, for girls versus Pokemon.com. Okay, so there we go. Oh, the Butterfree, that's so, that's so fucking, that's so fucking meta. We, we defeated it with a Butterfree and there's the Butterfree back there eating the flower. Oh, it's just so good. It's so good. Oh, oh. Oh, Clyde, the guide has got some information for us. Whoa! Would you look at that book badge? Nice, very nice future champ. I bet that schmancy pants professor who gave you your first Pokemon would be amazed to see it. After you heal your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center, why don't you head on up to the Pokemon Lab in Luminor City and ch show it to him, huh? Uh, yeah, thank you very much for that, man. Uh, that's exactly what we were going to do. Um, but before we go and do that, he is right. We need to go to the Pokemon Center. And heal up real quick. Okay, so there we go, guys. We have got the, what's this, three episodes in. And we have got the very first badge of the adventure. We are looking so damn good. I am liking the position we are in. Butterfree is kicking ass. Onyx hasn't had a chance. And neither has the Stunfisk that we have just got. So the Stunfisk will most likely be boxed, just like the Electrode, because there is no need for that at the moment. We've got a Butterfree and we've got an Onyx, which is, uh, which is damn nice. The Butterfree is looking good. I'm really pleased. It's got the it's got the moves. It's got the the compound eyes. So obviously it makes the the sleep powder and that hit better. The better accuracy means more fucking hacks for Raz. Okay, so that's the first badge. As I said, tomorrow we are going to be doing the live stream tomorrow night. Let me know what the best time is. I'm thinking 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. UK time onwards, and then uh, that's obviously five hours different Eastern time, and then you can work out the rest from there. Um, but that is. Awesome. So thank you very much for watching. Again, we got the very first badge. I will see you tomorrow in the live stream. And I hope you all join me because it's going to be a one hell of a special episode. We're going to be doing Wi-Fi battles. You can ask me loads of questions. So get them ready. Even put the questions in the comments below here. I will write them out or put them in a... Or I'll have them out in the window so I can answer them. So if you think of a question now on the spot, write it in the box. Write it in the box now. Go in there. Fucking type something in the box. Ask me a question. Ask me, Raz, why do you swear so much? And I'll answer it. I'll answer it for you. Ask me any question you like. If it's too rude or personal, I might tell you to fuck off or uh, just fuck off. Um, but I am pretty open about everything, so ask me, ask me what you like. Um, ask me why I'm so fucking nuts. Do what, do do what you like. But there we go. We got the first badge in our Wonderlock X adventure. We have got another capture and a wonder trade, which is shit hot. And we have got Viola. Oh, the oh so fine Viola. She is signed up to Girls vs Pokemon.com, and we're going to be taking some. Sh photos and some videos so let's do that real nice now okay so i'll see you tomorrow night everybody i've been raspowski you've been the beautiful bastards as always for watching and i love each and every single one of you goodbye <laughs>